Within Texas, there's an area that has a reputation for being a dog dumping ground. Videos like this show owners abandoning their dogs on the side of the roadway like trash and driving away. While other evidence has shown hundreds of dead dogs that were placed in garbage bags and left along this same roadway like trash. Disclaimer, the beginning of this video is upsetting, but please stay till the end because I'm going to share how we can directly help these dogs in need. 2018, an article was published highlighting a volunteer group named the Dowdy Ferry Animal Commission. They monitor this area, but they also work to bring awareness to the dog dumping problem itself. One of the ways they do this is they line the roadway with crosses to represent each of the dead dogs that they have discovered since 2015. And at the time, years ago, there was over 400 crosses that they put up. The display was only up for a weekend, and when they went to remove it, there was another dead dog there. Within three days later, they identified seven more dogs. So there's dogs being dumped with no food, water, or refuge from the intense Texas heat. If one of these dogs is picked up by the Dallas Animal Services, they have 72 hours if they don't have a collar on or if they don't have a microchip. After that, they're euthanized. If the dog has a microchip or an ID tag, they have 10 days and then they're euthanized. In just June of this year, the DAS released a statement that said their shelters are at 130% capacity. Meanwhile, at other large shelters like Harris County in Houston, all dogs that are picked up off the street or surrendered have a 30-day period before being euthanized. From the moment a dog walks into the door, a countdown begins. It doesn't matter the animal's age, health, or how lovable they are. After 30 days at 5 p.m., the animals are killed every Wednesday and Friday if they are still in their custody. For perspective, when I looked last night, there was 18 dogs that were scheduled to be euthanized today at 5 p.m just because they hit their 30-day mark. According to the Houston Chronicle in 2022, 68,945 dogs and cats were killed in animal shelters across Texas alone. To visualize this number, during baseball season, Yankee Stadium has 46,537 seats available. You could put a dog and a cat on every single chair in that arena, and you would still be left with 22,408 animals left over. Thankfully, there are people who are fighting to save these animals, and that's who this video is dedicated to. For starters, there's a Wonder Woman named Jeannie. She is the founder and director of Just a Girl Saving Dogs, which is a 501c3 nonprofit. Jeannie lives in Texas and she rescues street dogs from her community. She documents the process here on TikTok and Instagram. She'll take dogs that have lived their entire life on the street, the ones that have not been shown kindness, the ones that have been dumped, or the ones that have been surrendered by owners. And she'll allow those dogs to transition from street life to home life in a dog-style bed and breakfast that she has. She'll provide them with professional medical care, healthy food, and for the first time in their life, they won't have a worry in their world. And once the dog transitions from street life to home life, they are then evaluated to determine if they are adoptable or not based off their possible medical issues or if there's any behavioral issues. And what's incredible is during the transition, she allows the dogs to have a decompression process where they have their own space. So this way they could be in a quiet room and slowly start to adjust. At the end of this transition, they are evaluated and they either become lifelong residents there at the headquarters or they are released to an established rescue like my friends over at the Rescue Pack. The Rescue Pack is another 501c3 rescue and they will work together to find either foster homes or qualified forever homes for these dogs. The Rescue Pack is here on TikTok, but they're also on Instagram too. And their volunteer Heather has been doing such a good job with getting videos out daily about the dogs that they have and that need forever homes. It really is inspiring to see how the community will work together. I absolutely I love Jeannie and Heather because you could tell they're sincere people and their main mission is to find these dogs forever homes. Collectively, Just a Girl Saving Dogs has saved and transitioned over 200 different dogs. But the reality is people like Jeannie and Heather, they need support to continue to save these dogs. Since without donations, there's limitations to how much they could do. Also, many of these nonprofit groups rely solely on donations to function. And the unfortunate truth is many of these nonprofits have to pay out of their own pocket and cover things like food and medical bills. It's not fair to put that responsibility just on those people. So I wanted to make this video to one, raise awareness about the street dog issue in Texas, and also share how we as a community can help. For starters, you can follow all of these incredible accounts I tagged. Also, Just a Girl Saving Dogs released an incredible selection of these beautiful shirts. 50% of the proceeds go directly to Just a Girl Saving Dogs. I got mine in the mail the other day, so I was excited to show it off. Also, side note, it's made out of that fancy Bella canvas and not that starchy cotton. And lastly, I wanted to ask you all for help. I am extremely thankful to have grown a following on here. And I am amazed that over 381,000 people have decided to follow me, so thank you. That being said, I couldn't help but think, imagine if we all came together as a community and donated $1 to a cause like Just a Girl Saving Dogs or the Rescue Pack. Imagine the impact that could be made if we all just donated a dollar for those dogs. These dogs need our help, but so do the people who are saving them. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much to people like Jeannie and Heather 
who are saving these animals and being a voice for them when nobody else has. I also want to shout out all the incredible accounts that are on here who make it their mission to share all of the dogs that are up for being euthanized each week. I'm tagging all of those pages that I follow below. I encourage you to follow them because while that stuff may be upsetting to see, it's also helping to save lives and it's important. Let's not be arrogant to situations. Let's not just play dumb. Let's educate ourselves to see what can we do as a community to help. Okay, thank you for listening to my TED Talk. Love y'all.